from the University of California at Davis, this is News Watch. Kentucky Derby winner Barbaro continues to make progress after suffering three fractures in his lower leg at the start of the Preakness in May. I think this was an extremely difficult surgery. It was a uh, very severe injury for this horse because of the nature of the bones that were affected and the uh, characterization of the fracture. Stover, an equine surgeon, says Barbaro has a long way to go before experts know if the surgery is a success. This fracture occurs when horses are at racing speed and when the bones give away, those, uh, that joint can overextend and the vessels that supply the foot uh, are in that location. And if they're traumatized so that they're either disrupted or they clot, that deprives the foot and the bones of any blood supply and, and healing won't be possible. Stover says too many catastrophic injuries to racehorses continue to occur on the track, and her team of researchers are learning why. The vast majority of fractures have an area of bone that was injured previous to the fracture. So we think that in most cases there's a mild pre-existing injury that uh, predisposes the horse to fracture. Most surgeons are now using locking compression plates and screws to stabilize brakes. Maintaining blood supply is important. And we need to have a viable blood supply so that cells can come in these sites, remove the dead bone, replace it with healthy bone, and heal the fracture. In Barbaro's case, all the implants look strong. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.